Mount Yellowstone Supervolcano, located in Wyoming, United States of America, USA, turns out to have two giant magma chambers underneath. This fact reveals how big the magma content is, and the potential for an eruption that can be caused. Scientists have known the consistency of the magma beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera using seismic waves. They also know a reservoir full of pulp magma is not expected to pose a threat of an imminent eruption. Although we found a much higher portion of liquid than previously found, it was still only up to 28%. So, to our knowledge, Yellowstone is not likely to have an eruption anytime soon. Sin Mei Wu, a geophysicist and Swiss Seismological Service postdoctoral researcher at the Federal Institute of Technology, EV, in Zurich, told Live Science. From this study it is known that the magma reservoir under the Yellowstone volcano consists of two chambers. The shallow reservoir near the surface is about 90 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide, while the deeper chambers are about 4.5 times larger. The deeper reservoir contains about 2% molten magma, and the upper chamber contains much more. A study published in Science in December 2022 places the proportion of magma melt in the upper reservoir at between 16% and 20%. The team used seismic wave data to assess the texture and composition of the upper magma reservoir, which is about 5 kilometers deep beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano. The results of the study, published June 8 in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters, show the upper chamber is composed of 28% melt. This amount is 8% to 12% more than the 2022 estimate, which was found by a different method. Far from being a fine mixture of molten rock, Magma reservoirs contain large amounts of solid rock, semi-liquid crystals, gases, and other volatile substances," said Sin Mei Wu. Despite recent breakthroughs, scientists can't be sure what exactly is hidden beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano. Michael Poland, a research geophysicist and scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, said the magmatic system was mush. We often call it magmatic slurry, to convey the impression that it is not a 100% liquid ball, but also contains a lot of solid material, much denser than liquid materials, maybe like a very thick lentil soup, he said.